On Monday, Donald Trump, who is of course freaking out over the fact that he is being indicted in the state of Georgia now, sent out what legal experts have called a clear attempt to intimidate witnesses, specifically former Georgia Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan. Trump sent out a post on Truth Social warning Duncan to not testify against him. Duncan was actually supposed to testify on Tuesday, but after Trump's threat, Fonnie Willis decided, you know what? Screw Tuesday. I need Jeff Duncan to come in right now. So Duncan did in fact testify yesterday, but not before Donald Trump sent this out. I am reading reports that failed former Lieutenant governor of Georgia, Jeff Duncan will be testifying before the Fulton County grand jury. He shouldn't. I barely know him, but he was right from the beginning of this witch hunt, a nasty disaster for those looking into the election fraud that took place in Georgia. <sighs> he shouldn't. So Donald Trump is directly telling a witness against him. You should not testify in front of the grand jury. Then he goes on to attack the potential witness against him. As I mentioned, Willis was not deterred. In fact, she was so annoyed with it. She decided to go ahead and get the testimony right away. Probably I'm sure asking about how he felt about Donald Trump's post on truth social, which of course could be why the Fulton County courthouse website had initially posted Donald Trump's indictment, but then immediately took it down. My guess, and this is a, a wild theory. I'm not going to be shocked if it's wrong, but my guess is after talking to Jeff Duncan, following Trump's post on truth social, that she decided, you know what? We're going to have to go ahead and add a new charge, which is going to be witness intimidation for the record. There are very strict laws in the state of Georgia about criminal defendants, not being able to intimidate witnesses. In fact, a criminal defendant is actually only allowed to be released prior to their trial, you know, out on bail, uh, if it's determined that they will not intimidate potential witnesses. I mean, if that's the case, following the letter of the law, then Donald Trump should be locked up until his trial in the state of Georgia. I mean, that's what the law says. He's clearly intimidating witnesses based on all the other cases out there as well. You cannot trust him to not intimidate witnesses. So lock him up, right? I mean, that's what the law says you should do. So let's do it for the record. I do want to read this because Luckily, some of the good folks on social media did manage to caption a screenshot of the potential charges on the Fulton County website before they were removed. And again, by the time you're watching this, the indictments may have already been handed down, but some of the charges include, uh, got to blow it up a little. I'm getting older. Can't quite read it. <sighs> violation of the Georgia Rico act solicitation of violation of oath by public officer conspiracy to commit impersonating a public officer conspiracy to commit forgery in the first degree conspiracy to commit false statements and writings conspiracy to commit filing false documents, uh, conspiracy to commit forgery in the first degree conspiracy to commit false statements and writings, filing false documents, solicitation of violation of oath by public officer, false statements and writings, solicitation of violation of oath by public officer, false statements and writings. So we're looking at 13 indictments, possibly 14 if she wants to go ahead and add witness intimidation on top of that already very significant list of potential crimes Trump is alleged to have committed in the state of Georgia. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.